The Flash He is one of the most popular DC characters with more than 8 years of history. The character has essentially had his hand in every piece of the media cake, and even in video games, but we still haven't had a proper modern single player game where he's the main character. I'm gonna be covering why Flash games are hard to make, Flash's game appearances, and the old Flash game that was cancelled. Why are Flash games so hard to make? Though there are Flash games, there hasn't been a 3D one where he's the main character. Firstly, the Flash is pretty overpowered. Essentially like Superman and that's why there aren't any real Superman games either. Super speed is really difficult to translate into a game. If your character is super fast, then you wouldn't be able to navigate either. And even though it has been done in other games in various ways, for a super powerful character like Flash to translate super speed into a game, you have to either have just an empty world so that there are no obstacles for you to hit at high speeds, or you have to lower his speed. But after a certain point, it wouldn't really feel like you're the fastest man alive. But there's also another option. You could make time slow down by slowing down the environment and NPCs so that it's easier to move through the map while still maintaining a sense of speed. But even though I think it would feel extremely cool for a while, it wouldn't really be proper super speed, though it could be done really well. But you don't need to make the Flash the fastest man alive. Super speed doesn't need to be the speed of light. As long as the player feels like they're moving at super speed compared to other games they've played, that'll be enough. And then when you consider combat, it becomes even more difficult. For a pretty overpowered character like the Flash, I think combat would be pretty hard to get right. To show that he's using his super speed while in combat would just make it feel like a button masher. And also, the questions of why he isn't using his infinite mass punch and other big powers would come up. But from what we can see with Injustice, we know Flash combat can be done well. But in this case, it would just have to be done for lots of enemies and not just a 1v1. There are a lot of other reasons that a Flash game is hard to make, and I've only discussed the challenges from a gameplay perspective. And I'm sure that these obstacles can be tackled in creative ways if a proper Flash game is being made. And I'm sure most gamers would be able to suspend disbelief up to a certain extent to have a more enjoyable gaming experience. And since you watched this far, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. It would really help me out, and my goal right now is to hit 100 subs. You should also like the video if you want. Moving on. Now let me discuss some of the appearances of Flash as a playable character in different games. There was a Flash game in 1993 that released for the Sega Master System. Since this was a 2D game, it didn't have some of the challenges a normal 3D game would have, and anyways at this time this was the only tech available, and I think they did a pretty good job. You can still feel his super speed without it being too fast. Speaking of 2D games, there were also some other of these where the Flash was playable, and like I said, most of them are pretty well-made Flash games for a 2D game. But the problems I'm talking about can even be seen in 2D games. For example, the Game Boy Advance Flash game doesn't really feel like the Flash. Sure, he's a bit fast, but the combat still seems mostly repetitive, but there was an ability where you could slow down time. And I think this would be really cool to see in a 3D Flash game with today's technology. And the PS2 game that the GBA game was acting as a side game to has the exact opposite problem. This game, which is called Justice League Heroes, does have Flash in a 3D setting, and even though he has some cool combat moves, his movement is just normal and his combat has some effects that make it look fast, but this is kind of what you should avoid when you make a Flash game, in my opinion. Flash also did appear in an online multiplayer battle arena game called Infinite Crisis and again, it's the same problem. Especially when there are other characters, you can't just make one of them significantly faster than the rest of them without adding a believable drawback. And that's kind of difficult. DC Universe is another online multiplayer game with the Flash and I honestly think that this is one of the best portrayals of super speed in a 3D open world setting. You aren't really the Flash, but you just have his powers and you get to add other powers to your arsenal too. You can do all this by creating a custom superhero or supervillain at the start of the game. The main benefit with this game is that the traversal really is different for each type of character. And it didn't really matter all that much as the main part of the game wasn't in the traversal and was more in the combat. This allows you to choose the Flash's super speed traversal method as it's just really fun, you do feel fast. The next two are probably the most popular versions of the Flash in games. I'm obviously talking about the Flash in LEGO games and the Injustice games. The Injustice games I think did a very good job with the Flash for the genre the game was. Since it's just a 1v1 fighting game, there wasn't any need to worry about traversal. And I'll agree that the Flash doesn't seem super fast at first, but it's mainly with his combos and other powers that you get to feel like the Flash while fighting. And since combos and other moves are a big part of the game, it really does feel cool to play as the Flash. Plus the super move the Flash has is one of the best things ever. When we are discussing the LEGO games, even though he hasn't had a standalone game, the Flash has appeared in a few of them. LEGO games are just made in a way where you don't have to worry too much about game mechanics, and by that, I'm not saying that LEGO games have no cool mechanics, I just mean that they care more about having it just be fun. 
and because of this they were able to do a lot with the flash obviously since he wasn't the main character and lego games are basically known for having huge character rosters the flash would feel out of place if it was just him in a game but it feels perfect in a lego game this is because even though the flash is pretty fast his, his combat can still improve and he doesn't have too many powers or mechanics well all this is fine with lego games i think the Flash has appeared in LEGO Batman 2, LEGO Batman 3 and the LEGO DC Super Villains game. And he has only gotten better and cooler and more fun to play with each game. The developers have been able to improve with each iteration. That's why the Flash is best to play in LEGO DC Super Villains compared to other games. And finally, I've also got to talk about the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League game. It seems like you're going to be able to fight the Flash in this one. I think his design is really cool and it's going to be really interesting to see how you're going to be able to fight a speedster as a group of non-speedsters and how they're going to make it fun. Those are almost all the notable games where you can play as the Flash. So it's apparent that the Flash still doesn't have a proper 3D open world game like the Batman with the Arkham series or other games. But there was a Flash game in development. I'm guessing that most people who've clicked on this video would already know about it so I won't go too deep into it. And many others have made much better videos than I ever could about this game. So I'll just give you a quick recap. In 2008, Brash Entertainment, Bottle Rocket and Warner Bros started working together to make a 3D open world Flash game. It was supposed to have several areas, it was planned so that you could have a lot of the Flash's rogues gallery and there would be side quests that you could do that would improve your reputation in the city. There was also a multiplayer plan where you could play as several speedsters. But unfortunately, the company went out of business and so we didn't get this game. It was supposed to have come out by 2009. But the game was into a lot of development before it was cancelled and so we have a lot of footage. I think from the footage that there is a lot of potential for a game like this, they seem to have done pretty well with the traversal and the combat. Though I think it could be improved if a game like this was being made nowadays, considering all the technology we have now. Though I'm a fan of The Flash, I'm not entirely knowledgeable about the character. So I might have made some very dumb mistakes and feel free to let me know what they are in the comments. And I don't want to come off as some unreasonable fanboy who wants a flash game that's perfect. I know that there are many technical limitations and I was just talking about some of them and maybe how you could fix them. That's all it was. That's all for the video. If you watched this far, thank you as always and please do leave a comment as it would be amazing and let me end with the iconic catchphrase and universal motivational quote. If you want to fail something, fail it spectacularly.